Hi, how are you guys? Good morning. Sorry, I'm still in my pajamas. Uh, I slept in. <laughs> I've been sleeping like a rock, which you would think I wouldn't be, but praise God, right? All right, um, I'll just hang out with you guys for about five minutes uh, before we get started. Um, but uh, first, let me say, this video, like every single video I've ever made on YouTube, it's only my opinion, it's only speculation. I use public online resources to sleuth and come up with theories and speculation. Please, please, please do your own research. Look these things up yourself. Form your own opinion. Please do not bully, confront, harass, or threaten anyone. Hi, One Way Street on TV. Just for crafts and giggles. Chris. Blossom, welcome guys. Kelly, wow, there's a bunch of you here already. 17 people and 14 likes, yay! That means uh, some, most of y'all are like my friends and not lurkers, right? <laughs> oh, hey guys. I've been wondering the same. Oh wait, what a miss. Army, read your messenger, 911, 991, it's an emergency. Oh my gosh. You mean my... Facebook or what? Hold on one second. Let me see if I. Okay, sorry guys. I read a part of it. I will um, definitely look into that whenever I get off of here. I apologize. No, no, your video is not buffering. I I hopped out for a second to try to check my messages. I'm sorry guys. I haven't read any of my messages from yesterday. I haven't I haven't read any comments. Um. Okay, wow, all right, that, that is interesting. Okay, um, so let's start off with um, this. This is the man on the bike who decided to get really aggressive with me yesterday. This is when he was riding back by. Because of course he came back. And again, isn't it interesting that my ring camera didn't pick up when he was um, accosting me in my driveway? Interesting, right? I think it's interesting. Um, let me give you a reminder of the Spectrum guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think they did something on my internet, y'all. Mm-hmm. I think so. Mm-hmm. That's my opinion over here at Army for Jesus, right? And, um... We're going to be going through some interesting things. I'll be explaining some stuff to you. Um, okay. I'm going to try to make these videos a little bit shorter. Excuse me. Because um, I don't want them to be super long. I want them to be easy to digest, especially since I'm going to be doing two a day. Okay? So I'm going to do my best to try to keep them somewhat compact. Um, okay. So I want to go over a few notes I made. First, I was listening to Mrs. G, and apparently she got really upset about whenever I was live, and I said something about, um, or she said something about, uh, tell them it makes you hungry or something, and I thought she, like, literally was, like, joking about, like, eating the person that is mad at you or you're arguing with. Like, I, I thought it was a joke. I took it as a joke. I, I didn't mean anything by that. Like, I genuinely just was joking. Um, let's see here. Judy said the reason she called Megan, Megan Coleman, is because 50 years ago, <laughs> 50 years ago now, <clears throat> she had a friend named Coleman, and that's why. <laughs> um, apparently blind little D, apparently, uh, Little, little D Donnie uh, Martinez. Apparently, he's not on here anymore. I don't know. Um, I heard Larissa and Megan's chat saying that, um, <laughs> that everyone doesn't, or something like, everyone doesn't believe me now, only my eight people that believe me. <laughs> um, Megan said that Daisy's not a prostitute. 
sorry, S goes to church. And Megan claims she's a Christian. People can say lots of things. Apparently it didn't do a whole lot of, Never mind. Um, so, uh, Megan says she didn't say Kylie, 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 or the Kylie, 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 Kylie porn. And she did. I didn't hear that part. I, when I originally heard it on double speed, I thought she said, I'm going to say Kylie, 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 Kylie more. Um, but I definitely heard the Coleman. And I was like, oh. Because see, I've told you, that's what they do with these names. Cole, Coleman, Coley, Colson. Um, I have an ever-growing list of names that I find interesting in my descriptions um, of every video. I try to put them in there. Um, So, I want to point out that whenever I first exposed that Megan had other children, I intentionally did not mention Daisy and Brayden hardly at all for at least a month. Because the point I wanted to make is why is she so upset if I'm not talking about her actual kids? Right? Um, we're going to be talking more about Mark Beaker. I wonder if he possibly lost his life because he got too close to the truth. Um, Megan saying that Kylie would have thought I was a bitch when she says she didn't know Kylie is upsetting and irritating. And I'll have you know that the person I've been in contact with who actually knew Kylie thinks Kylie would love me. <laughs> so suck that, Megan. Um, and uh, <laughs> I'm wondering, y'all know how Megan has told all them stories about like, you know, and I saw a mouse and I saw a snake and, and yesterday she was like, Kylie, Kylie, Kylie was a bear, right? Remember her saying that there was a bear in her car or something. It makes me wonder if she doesn't refer to these furry friends of daisies and whoever. It makes me wonder if she doesn't refer to them as their animal, you know. And uh, could she be talking about people? Could the mouse she saw in the grocery store be a furry? I don't know, it's just a theory. I was just throwing it out there. The Megan that we're talking about is the trucky mother of, a, of teens who inserted herself into this case defending Sam, Samantha Smith. Sorry, guys. One day I'm gonna get an organized setup. Probably not. Um. So, is the loggy here? That's why Mrs. G said daisy porn. Yeah, 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 yeah. Daisy, 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 daisy porn. It wouldn't be funny if I was sitting over here going, daisy passed away, daisy passed away. It's not cool, guys. Like that, that's, I didn't know Megan would go so low. I wanted to have more hope than that. But I've learned in this case, never, when somebody, when somebody or something strikes you as wrong or something's off, do not allow yourself to think, oh, well, surely not. Because boy, have I learned my lesson. So, <clears throat> so when I was looking up Coleman's, when I came across the cable or the internet boy, Oh, yeah, I want to mention that too. Megan was referring to me as a girl. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I'm 42 years old, and um, when uh, I refer to people my age, I call them women. 
I don't call them girls. I call people younger than me substantially girls. You know, it's almost like Megan Coleman is 55. And she sees me as a child compared to her. She also was out playing bingo and said, or was talking about telling a story about her and her mom going to bingo. And she's like, yeah, kids my age there. Kids your age. Kids? Just interesting things, guys. Thank you, Misty, of holding that. Sammy is a huge red flag. You don't look 42, honey, maybe 32. Oh, good grief. I know I look old. I ain't worried about it, though. Thank you. I was noticing the other day, I was um, brushing my teeth, and like I, as I was doing this, like my eyes squinted up, and it reminded me of my grandma, and it just touched my heart. Like, I think there's a beauty in growing old. Like, even if I could afford, like, Botox and all that stuff, I wouldn't do it. I've run every wrinkle I've got. Keeps cutting out. Y'all back out and come back in the live. It worked for me. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. That Meg's is an ankle. She three foot lower than a you know. <sighs> mm, you know what? Okay, let me do this. Hold on. Mm, let me see who's here. Because it's really hard to keep up with Jack, guys. Okay, listen, um, let's do, um, Andrew, can you help me out? Um, if I mod you, would you care to be the mod just for this chat? It's still cutting in and out, oh no. Can you guys understand me? Should I should I go offline and then come back? I'm still breathing at 57. Well, praise God, Michael. Is that a no, Andrew? <laughs> uh. Okay, you guys, are, your guys is working fine. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. What do I have to do? Okay, no, you don't really have to do anything right now. I'm, hold on. I'm gonna give you uh, moderator privileges. So if somebody comes into chat and they're being excessively inappropriate or something like that, you can um, click on their name and it'll say hide from channel or block or whatever. If you don't care. I hope that's okay. How come I don't see his wrench? Anyway, and I understand my boy Ryan's theory Crazy crap going on blow people's minds. You're not cutting out on my end, Orland. You're good, Misty. Thank you. Okay, good. All right. So, as I was looking up, I actually, I think I, I, think I put in Dwight Coleman. Just to see if it was an alias that was used by Big D. <laughs> Apparently, it makes her really upset when I say that. Big D McCarthy. <laughs> And there's little D Donnie Martinez. Okay. He thinks he's an alpha. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I'll try not to laugh. All right, so. So, when I typed it into Facebook, this guy came up. It says Dwight Henry. And I, I mean, to me, that kind of sounds almost like a first and middle name, although Henry can be a last name. But what struck me instantly about this man is look how much he looks like Brayden. I mean, do y'all see it? I do. Oh, you got your wrench, good. Mm. 
Do you guys think this looks like Braden Cole? Because I do. I mean, it looks like somebody that <laughs> would be with Megan, in my opinion. I don't know. He's a beta. Ah, Stacy says, right? Oh, man. So I was like, man, that guy really looks like Brayden. And so I was looking at his friends and I found my Spectrum guy, I believe, or at least a relation to the Spectrum guy, okay? And um, there was one of the comments I wanted to read, hold on. Oh, and by the way, I know they're watching my what I'm doing on the internet because literally I was on this guy's page for maybe a minute, maybe. And his page went private. Boom. As soon as I took the screenshot of his friend that looked like the uh, internet guy. Na, 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 na. Hold on, let me find it. Shoot. Sorry, guys. I've been printing on cardstock. It's a little more expensive, but it's just easier to deal with. I think it's interesting, the names, you know, that, that appear to be friends with this guy, you know, like Wells, you know, like Summer Wells, you know. Huh, I can't find it now. The comment I was gonna show you, I'm sorry guys. Oh, and one of his friends also been named, well, I only, uh, probably more than one friend. I just only got to see a few. Like, I was starting to screenshot friends and page private, <laughs> right? So, uh, here's a uh, noble, you know, like Gobel, like Johnny Gobble, whatever. <laughs> I will, Blossom. Are you, are you? Okay, Blossom says, they're doing more than watching the internet when you're on ARMY. That's why you need to read my messages. There's a big reason you're seeing sus people in your park. You're not crazy. I can prove it. Thank you, Blossom. Wow. I think Doug, I think Doug to Susie Q. The Spectrum guy probably installed a keystroke tracker. Oh, maybe, Stacy. I don't know, it could have been Doug Bishop, but listen, Bishop is one of the names that I find that's connected to these people, guys. But l listen. It's important to realize that the majority of the people that we know, that we've seen, that we know their names, I believe they're involved. Please stop trusting people. Make them prove they're trustworthy. Long gone are the days of giving people benefit of the doubt. I'm being serious. I told you. I've also seen these people being friends with people named Cantu. You know, like Josh can too. So, anyway, I wanted to share that with you guys. And then one final thing I wanted to share with you guys.
But uh, let's show the white Henry one more time. Oh, and I believe, I'm trying to remember what town this dude lives in or, or state. Mm, I know it's up north because um, I know Megan's made comments about up north, uh, but I think it's Washington. I think it's where this guy lived or Oregon, I'm not sure. But that area ish. Um, okay, so let's talk for just a second about how amazing Miss the Loggy is. See, she did research and she thinks she may have found the exact house Kylie was at. Now, I don't know. I've not really looked into it much yet. Oh, but I plan to. See, this is the last photo we have of Kylie. And look how well it lines up with that skyline. I mean, wow. See, this is the kind of thing I was hoping would happen when I exposed the wigs. And that's when I started noticing and realizing that people aren't real. Really, for Kylie, anyway. Because I expected the information that I put out to be picked up by someone else who had more skills than I do to prove these things. Like me putting out that I thought this photo was taken near Incline Village, near that street. So Loggy picked up what I said, used her skills. And we may have an answer. I did say the address wrong yesterday, but it is on Zloggy's video. Army, I need to look something up. May I ask here? Of course. That house is up for sale. Where is AWP located again? Bend, Oregon. Same brow for O's. I also noticed, a, I, okay. Zloggy is always on the ball. Yeah. All right. But uh, what I, I mean, I, I see a lot of breeding goal here, guys. I really do. I really, really do. Yeah, sure do. Hmm. Isn't that interesting? He looks a whole lot like her dad, Dwight, right? I mean, I think so. We'll compare tonight if you like. Guys. I believe with all my heart, Kylie's justice is coming. And it's gonna be all, all, for the glory of my Lord and Savior. It's something that I constantly fight to avoid getting in my flesh because now that this has become personal and I can prove it, that these people have been inserted into my children's lives. It's really hard not to get the way I used to be. It's not easy and I'm not perfect. This is not about me being perfect. I don't know why God has chosen me for this. I'm not special, but I'm grateful. I just offered myself as a willing vessel to him and asked him to use me. This isn't exactly what I expected, but his ways are higher than our ways. They're, you know, we don't see in the way that he does, you know? And maybe one person, one person's faith will increase through this. Maybe one person Turn to Jesus. So, oh, please, could you check out Good Morning America one year ago? Kylie Rodney's dad speaks out at the 312 mark, the car on the left next to Lindsay. I will, call swallowed. I found this program. So, went around Lake Tahoe, like in a canoe. Oh, wow, that's cool, Chris. I know Judy's last name. I know what she does for a living, and her and Meg's are partners. That's how she knew Meg's real identity. 
Blossom just went a oh, boom. <laughs> really? Hmm. Hmm. This is what I'm talking about, guys. This is how we find justice. We work together. But in order to work together, we have to be people that actually are here for the truth. Those houses in Incline Village are million dollar properties. Remember, Salisha Singh said they hid Kylie's car in that lady's garage. I believe it was this house on Lakeshore Boulevard. Maybe. Could be. Maybe not, but it could be. All right, guys, we're almost up to a half an hour. Um, I will see you uh, this evening at 1030 um, with some more interesting things that I'd like to share with you. Um, seems like there was one other thing I wanted to mention. Of course, you know, this is why I've been making notes lately because I forget. Um, I don't remember what I was going to say, but I do find it really interesting that... Oh, well, this is one thing I want to tell you. Okay, so the person I've been talking to who knew Kylie, although they lived, she lived far away from Kylie, they were very close. And um, she said that Trinity and Kylie were friends. That Trinity was at Kylie's house when Kylie called her on the phone one time. And that she put Trinity on the phone and was like, here's my friend Trinity. Poor Trinity. Guys, can you make comments of this stuff? Because I can't keep up with every message in chat. And this is interesting stuff, guys. Please. Can you guys just, like, make a comment in the comments when I end and, like, just like DWC putting out Rick Rule's number, which doesn't lead back to him. There are people saying they don't know how to start searching, so though we might be able to put out different places to start. Thank you, you guys. Okay, but no, Trinity, from my source, she says they were definitely friends, close friends. The Trinity trust Sam Brown. She trusts Troy Sander, Josh Barnhart, Truckee FBI. And keep in mind, I want you all to remember that Megan Coleman said CC's doing it right. She likes CNY. CC's donating money to her. She ain't just bringing her own panel to defend her. And Megan said, I told them missing girl for corruption. This wasn't supposed to to happen. Now, that makes me think Megan had some kind of say-so in this situation. So the question becomes, why? If you want to see something funny, uh, I can't remember which one it is, but one of Megan's lives, I think it was yesterday, when the, or my four last or something, when the, when the live starts, she's watching me on her computer, like you can hear me, and then she pauses it, and she's like, I don't think she realized she was live yet. And then a, few, a little bit later, Judy comes on, and Judy's telling her about my video, and she's like, yeah, I haven't watched her today. <laughs> She can't help herself. She can't. <laughs> Sorry, I had the laughing face. Oh, you're fine, baby. I don't mind. Whatever you want. Yeah, be safe on TV. Don't, don't. Yeah. Salisha even gave the name of the lady that's grave. 
they hit her car. Our garage, they hit their car. No way. Dante's parents' dad, board member of Christian Valley Park Community Water. There wasn't, wasn't there a pic of Trinity in front of Kylie's grandpa's RV at the presser? I showed a picture that I think looks like uh, Trinity. I will reshare it if you guys would like. It looks like she's got like a ball cap on. And she's at the, pre or not the press conference, but the rec center, like trying to talk to somebody, it looks like. Blossom says Trinity was murdered, just like the scenes for the same reason. Sure, tell me something crazy, Chris, and then I'm gonna hop off here, babe. Guys, if I, if I didn't see your comment, especially, and it's something important, please make a comment. Look up Dante's Go Find Me. Go Find Me to Sleuth. I will. I will. If you guys want to send me any texts privately, you can send them to the, the 740-300-2711 that I made for my um, call-in. Nobody called in, but like one person. But, uh, anyway, anyway. Chris, let's hear it, right? I'm waiting. Hearts, 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 hearts. It's like you like to like sprinkle up the screen. Right, we're all waiting with bated breath. Okay, it's my sleuthing around. I found a friend of dad's that had P.O. Box in Truckee for like 20 years. Really? Wow. Yes, make comments about this in, in the comments, guys, please. I don't want to miss this stuff. He doesn't even live there. That is interesting, Chris. All right, and I, I also wanted to add, and I don't know that this is relevant, but I'm beginning to wonder if it is because I told you Dana, from what I understand, her name is Phillips, not Phipps. And uh, you know what, we'll save that. We'll save that. Um, he closed it in 2007. All right, love you guys. See you at 1030 tonight. Um, you'll want to be here. I promise. Um, I'll see you then. Bye guys. God bless each of you.